All right, I am back from Sao Paulo where I was there for Excel weekend number four. And I got Excel Turbo t-shirt. <laughs> All right, I don't have any picanha or pugine or feijoada with me, but Luis Nascimento gave me some cachaça. So that did make it back to Portland with me. So what we're going to deal with tonight is something that somebody asked me when I was in Brazil. He's got these names, subjects across the top, and X's. So we can see Hank took music. But he would like the result to be this. Show music. Trig. English. Not just those X's. So how do we get those X's replaced with the column headers? If you've got some cachaça, this is about the time where you need to go get it. Because this, this solution is crazy. So let's look at something else here. I want to add a name. Benji. And Benji took biology, phys ed, algebra, and trigonometry. Let's go to our result. Refresh. There's Benji. All right. That's what we want to create. To do this, we have to break the data up into four pieces. We need the list of the student names. Then we need a list of the subjects. The third piece, get this data out of the matrix and get two tall columns. Eric English, just the student and then the subject that they completed. The fourth piece is necessary because of people like Flo who have not done anything. We've got to do a cross join so that we have a list of all the possibilities so that we can match that against what's still missing. The first thing we'll do is get our list of students. So we start with data from table slash range. Here is my student's query. All right, there's the raw data. Remove other columns. Say I would right click, remove other columns. Okay, and that would leave me with the name of the students. Next, let's get a list of what's been completed. Here's the completed courses query. Source, unpivot other columns. And we don't need these X's anymore, so we're going to remove that value column because anything that had a blank, it's gone. Let's look at that. Eric Phys Ed. There is no Eric Phys Ed here. All right, so we've got everything that's been completed. The next thing we need, the list of courses and then do a cross join. I did that all in one step here. All right, here's our source data. Unpivot, remove the name and the value columns, rename this as course list, remove duplicates. Now, just that list of courses. Now for the fourth piece that we need the cross join between the students and the courses. Add a custom column. So I left this column named custom and then equal students because students is the name of the query where we have our students list. Okay. Now next to each course is a table. And inside that table is the students list. Okay, so we expand it, right? Expand custom, reordered to put the names first, and then sorted the rows. All right. Now, this again is our list of possibilities, and we'll see. See, flow and algebra is listed, even though we know flow has not done anything. Now, here's what we do next gonna make a query. from new 
Okay, here's my cross join query, and now my completed courses query. I want to match both columns, name with name. Hold down the control key, course list with completed. Full outer join. Okay. Expand. Okay. Now we see. Okay. Flow English no. All right. G uh Eric Music Eric Music. Now we're going to do a pivot don't aggregate. Get rid of this name column. Remove. What do we want on top of our pivot table when it's done? We want course list. So we highlight that. Transform. Pivot. What do we want as values? We want completed. Advanced options. Don't aggregate. Okay. Ha. That's what we wanted. Flo is still here. She didn't disappear. All right. So let's close and load this. And we can add somebody new. Right, Horace, let's go, data, refresh. There's Horace and Horace's data. This is a lot, and I'm gonna leave this workbook so you can download it and see how it hangs together. And let me know if you have any questions about this, because it is a lot, all right? But if you have to do this, now you know how to do it. If you hung in this long, you deserve some cachaça. Muito obrigado.